hello dear students welcome back to my channel this is the video series for each channel students who will be facing board exam this is the part 2 of video series part 1 if you have not watched do watch it and learn all these questions if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel here in this video we will be discussing 6 important questions starting from the first question using appropriate properties find the value of 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 4 into 2 by 5 first what I'll do here is rearrange the terms first term this is second term and there are three terms are there if you look at these three terms in first second and third term in first and third term we have common factor 2 by 5 so it will be easy for us to simplify now what I'll do I'll rearrange the term 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 plus I'll write here 1 by 4 into 2 by 5 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 first step is just rearrange the terms now in the second step what I'm doing I'm taking uh, the common factor 2 by 5 outside if you take 2 by 5 outside what is the remaining term it is minus 3 by 7 plus 1 by 14 first step I have just rearranged the terms second step I have taken in these two terms I have taken the common factor 2 by 5 outside now we have the term minus 3 by 7 plus now minus 3 by 7 plus 1 by 4 take LCM or make the denominator same so I'll multiply the first term, the first fraction by 2. Both numerator and denominator what you get is minus 6 by 14 plus 1 by 14. Now what you get is since the denominators are same, you can directly add the numerator. Minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. So that is what we got is minus 5 by 14. Minus 6 plus 1 divided by 14. What we got is minus 5 by 14 into 2 by 5 now 1 by 6 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 so directly you can cancel what I have written is 1 3 is a 3 divided by 6 2 is a 12 1 3 is a 3 6 2 is a 12 now what you got 3 1 is a 3 times 4 is 1 by 4 how directly you can 3 1 is a 3 2 is a what you get is 1 by 4 you can directly write also now multiply 2 by 5 into minus 5 by 14 2 5s are 10 plus into minus is minus 5 14 is a 70 now what we got is minus 10 by 70 minus 1 by 4 now 10 ones are 10 7 are. what you get is minus 1 by 7 minus 1 by 4 now if you take LCM what you get otherwise you can use butterfly method 4 ones are 4 we have minus here next 7 ones are 7 divided by 7 4 are 28 what you get is minus 11 by 28 therefore it is minus 11 by 28 so similar questions have given in the practice session of this uh, worksheet see to download the worksheet do join my telegram group and whatsapp channel I'll be sharing this worksheet in my telegram group so you have uh, the exam starts from March 11th. Try to solve all these questions. Don't wait until the exam time. Start preparing now itself. Second question. Three consecutive integers add up to what? 51. What are these integers? Consecutive integers. For example, if we take the number 5, the next number will be 6 the next number is 7 that means if I consider the first number as x the next number will be what to get 6 what you should do you should add plus 1 therefore if the first number is x the next number what you should do you should add plus 1 to x the next number will be x plus 2 right from 5 to 6 you, add, you should add plus 1 5 to 7 it is plus 2 these are the consecutive integers 3 consecutive integers add up to what 51 let the three consecutive integers be what x x plus 1 and x plus 2 hope you have understood this if I, if you consider the first number as 4 the next number will be 4 plus 1 
next number will be 4 plus 2 these are the consecutive integers here it, the number is unknown therefore I am assuming it as x the next number will be x plus 1 the third number will be x plus 2 now if you add all these three integers the sum is what 51 I have converted the statement into the equation x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 now x x x x plus x plus x is 3x now 1 plus 2 is what 3 now shift 3 to RHS what you get is plus 3 after shifting it is minus 3 therefore 3x equals 51 minus 3 51 minus 3 is 48 so 3x equals 48 x equals what 48 by 3 so 48 by 3 is 16 therefore the first number is 16 the next number will be 17 and the next number will be 18 that is x equals 16 x plus 1 is 17 x plus 2 is 18 similar question is there for practice try to solve or download the worksheet and try to solve all these questions this the, you can expect the you can the concept based question you can expect that means the question will be asked based on this concept in the examination it can be same question or it can be different question but the concept will be same third question solve the following question 5x plus 9 equals 5 plus 3x now Rearrange the term, shift all the variables to what LHS and numbers to RHS. Now, 5x we have as it is, shift 3x to LHS plus 3x after shifting it becomes minus 3x. You have 5 here as it is, plus 9 after shifting it becomes minus 9. 5x minus 3x is 5x minus 3x is what? 2x. 5 minus 3 is 2x as it is. Now, 5 minus 9 is minus 4. x equals what? minus 4 by 2 x equals minus 2 the same way next question x plus 4 equals 3 times x minus 1 plus 7 here it is it is 8 x plus 4 equals 3 into x minus 1 plus 7 question I have made a mistake here it is 8 x 8 x plus 4 equals 3 into x minus 1 plus 7 now 8x plus 4 equals multiply 3 into x 3x next 3 ones are 3 first simplify the terms which is in the bracket 3 into x is 3x 3 ones are 3 plus 7 as it is now 8x plus 4 equals 3x minus 3 plus 7 if you have numbers with different sign what you should do you should do subtraction with bigger number sign 7 minus 3 is 4, bigger number sign is plus as it is now. Rearrange the term, shift all the variables to LSS. 8x minus 3x, 4 is there. After shifting it becomes minus 4. Now 8x minus 3x is 5x, 4 minus 4 is 0, x equals 0 by 5. If you divide any number by 5, 0 by any number, you will get 0. Therefore, x value is 0. Now then, next question, fourth question, find the x in the following figure. Here, the given figure, we should find out the value of x. Here, the value x, we need to find out. Students, you should understand the concept of linear pair. Two adjacent angle, whose sum equals what? 180 degree. Forms a straight line. Those angles are called as linear pairs. Here, this angle A and angle B sum is equal to what 180 degree why because it forms a straight line In the same way this is a straight line right that means angle m this is a straight line angle m plus angle 125 equals what 180 degree now m equals what these are these two are linear pair Now 125 plus m equals 180, m equals 180 minus, shift this uh, plus 125, 125 to RHS, it becomes minus 125, m equals what? Uh, 180 minus 125 will get 55. In the same way, angle n plus angle 125 equals what? 180 degree, so you will get n equals 55 degree. Now we know the concept, the exterior angle equals sum of sum of opposite interior angle therefore 
angle x equals what m plus n the exterior angle equals the sum of opposite interior angle using that concept equal x equals what m plus n m is 55 n is 55 therefore x equals what 110 degree next question factorize 10 a square minus 15 b square plus 20 c square now take each term how many terms are there there are three terms are there 10 a square you can write 10 a square as 2 into 5 into a into a 10 i am writing as 2 into 5 and a square as a into a in the same way minus 15 b square is what 3 into 3 5 is a 15 minus 3 into 15 is minus 3 into 5 is 15 into b square is b into b now 20 c square is what 2 into 2 into what 4 5 2 2 is a 4 4 5 is a 20 into c into c see if you see you have common factor 5 in all the three terms therefore what is the common factor 5 is the common if you take 5 common factor what you get is 2 a square minus 3 b square plus plus here you have plus here therefore plus 4 c square so this is how you factors first thing is you should take the common factor outside we have similar questions for practice do download the worksheet and practice find the value of m for which 5 power m divided by 5 power minus 3 equals 5 to the power 5. Very important question. See, we have the law a power m divided by a power n equals what? a to the power m minus n. You should use this law, loss of exponent. Now, 5 power m divided by 5 power m divided by 5 power minus 3, what you get is 5 power m minus of minus 3 that is equal to 5 power m plus 3 right you get 5 power if you simplify this you get 5 power m plus 3 now 5 to the power as it is now compare the now you have same base that means the powers will be equal 5 to the power m plus 3 equals 5 to the power 5 you have same base that means the powers will be equal m plus 3 equals 5 m equals 5 minus 3 m equals what 2 this is based on loss of exponent dear students hope you have understood this if you have not understood do watch the video again to try to discuss with your teacher don't hesitate to uh, clear your doubts with your math teacher and try to solve all this question and learn Thank you for watching the video. If you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. Here are the few uh, practice questions. Do solve all these questions. Thank you.